You're listening to Truly Unruly with Marcus and Jessica Trufant. Trufant. What up? Hey. What's up? Hey. How you guys doing? I'm doing well, my Mar- friend. Marcus Trufant. I'm here. We got uh, Thriller Eyes, <laughs> Jessica Trufant in the house. Don't look too deep into her eyes, y'all. You might get hypnotized. Hey. Something different. Popped one in. I was like, wow, this is different. And then it took me 30 minutes to get the other one in. Fuck it, they're staying. <laughs> I was forced to get LASIK surgery by way of not being able to put my contacts in. Really? Couldn't how do it. How long does LASIK last? Is it for a lifetime? It's gone. Um, it lasts for 10 Kidding. years-ish, I think. And then a lot of p- places do free touch-ups and stuff like that, too. Oh, but it's kind of scary though. Like you touch literally is it like peeling a your, huh? It's like a like like you just really quick touch up your hair. Yeah, it's a little mm-hmm. clean up. I got to watch him through the glass get yeah. LASIK. They like put it on <laughs> like the big screen, yeah. and you watch them like prop his eyes open and then pull a very thin layer. Are you asleep when they do that? Or are you no, wide awake? No, no, you're awake. You got to wide awake. awake, and they put the clamps on the right. They put the clamps. Oh, because yeah. I'm about to be moving. Yeah. Around. Yeah, no. tears and everything. Yeah, I'm. Oh my goodness! Finish. But, you had yeah. tears? I think so. You did. You know I don't good. do. I know I don't you do did good, pretty good, but, but they gave you numbing stuff ahead of time, and you had to yes. sit for a really long time mm-hmm. with it in there. So, yeah. I'll just stick to my contact lenses <laughs> and my glasses because like I get touch ups every ten years. That's right. Really... Well, you don't wear your contact lenses, and I don't. Do you? I wear know. Glasses? I need. I need to. Re- I was telling you about. That. I need to refill my contact lenses. I'm I just bad. bought a bunch of readers too, so. I'm yeah. in the game. Yeah. You can I'm some old of mine. though, so you're non prescription yep. <laughs> <laughs> contact. You got some readers, true? Yeah, Ooh. readers. Swagged you, out ones too. Uh, yeah, Amazon like ten pair for like twenty three ninety nine. Yeah, are you gonna wear them like right here in the, in the game? In the game. In the game. <laughs> he in just the bought game. some because he was wearing some crusty ass black ones, and he sleeps in them now. I know. So I he know. falls. I'm asleep at that age, man. I'm yeah. at that age. Just Wait, like he'll be in the bed. And yeah. The, the, shout out to the people that sleep in their glasses. Hey man, uh, watching Netflix porn? or ridiculous porn. Uh, just kidding. Oh. <laughs> wait so wait hold on how do you fall asleep with your glasses on is it like all night he keeps his glasses on because i feel all like they night. fall off and like- glasses on maybe phone underneath on the side um what else do you sleep with that just anything i never anything start electronic, working electronic it'll just be there i never start working That's don't be sleeping my thing. with your phone in the bed I know it's not good. Yeah, you want to get a tumor on your kidney? I know. Yeah. It? I think about that too. Yeah, even driving that. with it and you put it in your lap, and they say yeah. I stopped wearing keeping my that in your lap is not a good thing because your member catches, you know, the oh, frequencies God. and such. No, you that's know what, what they you say. You can't do anything these days. Anything is going to lead to death. <laughs> well, well, listen. If it has anything to do with messing with what goes on down there, <laughs> listen. We're not going to be putting the phone yeah, anywhere sorry, near sorry, there. Got to make sure that still works. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Jess. Yes. You went through something really crazy lately. Yeah, like really crazy. What happened? Well, I got I actually wrote a blog about it almost eleven years ago. Happy five year anniversary to my boobs. Um, so long story short. I had three kids, and in my defense, no, fuck that. Kids sucked me dry. Mm -hmm. I went from a very full C cup to an A cup, and shout out to all my women, my natural women or my women with implants, women in general, women that have had kids, women that have breastfed their kids. So, okay, so they're like A cups, right, Mm -hmm. after my third kid. And then if you bend over, they just come to a full flat point. Mm-hmm. Like, can you imagine? Nice. I know. Dylan's like, but well, wait a minute. Like, all of the tissue, the mass, everything that filled your boobs, it's like when you deflate a fucking balloon and you just have the, it's like a whoopee cushion. That's what it looked like. So you bend over and you have two small whoopee cushions. So I decided to get breast implants. It's been 10 years. Last year, some weird stuff started happening. And, um, I was having chronic pain, um, back pain, 
uh, neck pain, shoulder to arm, fingers going numb. Even my foot was kind of affected by it. Um, Real quick, was this pain, was it uh, like on and off? Or did you have like a, a point where like consistently for like a couple of weeks you were just in nonstop pain? It was on and off at <clears throat> first. And then right after COVID happened, one day there, it was like a, it was weird. It was mm-hmm. like a pop. And then it never went away. And so, you know, it sucks. COVID, chronic pain, not knowing what's wrong with you, going to countless specialists. I thought it was my stomach. I thought I had a tumor. I thought maybe because I like to consume a bit of Crown Royal that I had pancreatitis. I thought I had all these things and I'm having ultrasounds and CAT scans and MRIs and they can't figure out what's wrong with me. So... Just laying in bed and just kind of scratching, (laughs) scratching in that area, I figured out that if I touch my nipple, it sends, it started having the muscle spasms would get worse. Right. The nerve pain, the pain would shoot down my arm. And I'm like, wait a minute. I think everything that I've been going through is because of my busted ass implants. (laughs) It's been 10 years. I went to the doctor to go get them redone two years ago and didn't do it. I was like, "Ah, I'm too busy. I don't have time to be down. I don't want to do it. Long story short, no. Take these implants out right now. And at first, um, I know we were kind of talking about this. I thought it might have been breast plant illness. Um, I don't know if you guys, ladies, have heard about that, where your implants literally make you sick. They are toxic to your body. It's the silicone. Even though I get saline implants, the outside structure is still silicone, and it's toxic to some women. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I thought I had. And so I was going to do an explant and just kind of deal with it and eventually try and fill them up somehow. Hmm. Well, I've got enough on my body (laughs) that I could take some out and I could probably get H's from just the fat around my face. Okay, anyways. Right, anyways. H-I- Right, fat transfer. I bet you you could suck all this out and I'd be like this. Swear to God. Anyways, and so I found a doctor. He said, I do not think that you have (laughs) breast plant... Do you hear that? Just let them go. As long as it's not they are screaming that upstairs. type of cry, I, I think we'll Breast be okay. Breastplant illness, but ladies, do not let a doctor tell you that you don't have something that you really think you have. If you feel and your body is telling you that there is something wrong, do not ever let somebody tell you, no, 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 do this, do this, and not take them out. Me, Real talk. I had a feeling I was very torn about it because these implants have become a part of me, literally a part of me. And um, the unknown is scary, right? So when I'm telling him about my symptoms, he was like, oh, no, 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 no. I don't think it's breast plant illness. I think you just have a really bad case of capsular contracture. Shout out to all the ladies who are dealing with capsular contracture because it is, it is something special. Okay. So what, what is that? So exactly for us folks, us gentlemen, especially like Marcus and myself. A lot of people, a lot of women don't know. I've been living it. I know it. I've been, uh, and it's something that is listening. Is my hair backward? It is something that is a risk when you get any type of implant. I think there is a higher chance when you do the implants the way I did them. Um, above the muscle and, um, yeah. So it, anyways, um, capsular contracture is when you put a foreign object into your body, it's just like any kind of foreign object. There is a risk for your body to reject it. Right. Gotcha. And so my left side in particular was not happy. And so it formed a capsule of scar tissue. Okay, around the implant? Right. And usually okay. it's n- near at the bottom or sometimes just on the side or on the top. Oh, and, okay, so back it up. So he was like, that's classic symptoms. It's nerve, da- 
nerve damage, which I will talk about that because I am not sure if my nerve damage is permanent. Does this, does, are you still having pain? I'm still having issues. I know. And he said to give it some time because that area is so angry and very inflamed right now. And, um, but he said I might have to do some other things to help the nerves. Because oh, hopefully, prayers, I did not permanently damage the nerves. Mm. Not my fault. Not the boot. It's just kind of the nature of the game, right? So, anyways, he said this sounds very, it is capsular contracture. So, what we're going to do is do essentially an in block where you remove the capsule and the implant all in one and remove all of the scar tissue. And um, he felt that my probability would be very, very slim if I used, well, you you know, it's kind of like a sales pitch, but at the same time, I'm desperate. And I'm not quite ready to do a full explant. So he was like, under the muscle, teardrop, anatomical, whatever type of implant. And he's like, I have great confidence. (laughs) He's a pretty confident ass doctor, actually. Sounds like the car salesman of the (laughs) fucking year. But at this point, I'm like, I want the pain gone. No, I feel you. So let's just do it. So then he looks at me and he's like, you don't think you're just going to put these implants back in your saggy ass titties, right? And I'm like, why can't I? He's like, I promise you it will not look good. Ladies with implants, you understand. When I got him 10 years ago, (laughs) I didn't need it. 10 years later, breastfeeding two more kids. I think the implants were the only thing holding... No, I I understood what he was saying. What was, so, what, what, a little wait, wear and tear, a little wear and tear. I, I, is what I was, he was saying, trying I was to like, say. Yeah, was he look. saying? Was he thinking that you wanted to put the old ones back in? No, but he was, like, was thinking that I might want to put just you know do the in block and then just put new ones in without anything the, else. No lift or nothing like right. that. Right, and he said uh, your implant will sit here and your titties will sit. The rest will sit down here. You will not like it. <laughs> Some might like it. And be uh, okay with it. I'm not with paying it. to not like my yeah, shit, that's right? Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, Mark. so we're going to do it. And we'll do a lift too. You know, women go back to work after a week. Some women, they tick Tylenol after two days. So anyways, last Friday, I go in. And it was a six-hour surgery. Um, he said it was one of the most intense cases of capsular contracture that he's seen. And he sent me pictures and you can't even see the implant. He said it was completely calcified and it was stuck. Yeah. (laughs) It's not funny, but it was literally stuck to all the surrounding tissues. So he had to cut all the scarring, all the tissue, all of that out. Can I ask you a question? Mm-hmm. What color is it? What does it look like? It doesn't it look like blood? It's like a deep cranberry dark red from what I saw from the picture. It, it's did, like, did it look like a placenta? Yes. It looked like Ooh, a placenta. Shit. And he was like, that is why your boob was shaped the way it was, right. is because it was being constricted by this capsule. And um, All right, this is a personal question, but like, yeah. I'm just trying to understand the severity of the capsulation. So was it like, let's say you jumped. It damaged my nerves. Boom, so no, if you, you jumped, like one boob would bounce and the other one would just stay there? Kind of. Well, <laughs> and it's pushed up here. So your implant is up here. Your saggy titty skin is down here. So, oh yeah, I had to so do- So wait, did your nipple like- Yes, my nipples were very uneven. I had oh, to do lots of tricks shit. to keep them even, right? <laughs> and it was getting to the point where I would hug people and I felt self-conscious because it was a fucking rock up here. It was just a rock. So anyways, I woke up and I guess when I came out of surgery, they said that I was- talking about homeschooling and that I was on the computer. And I said, was I literally using my hands and typing? She was like, no, but you definitely were giving us some some homeschool game. And I'm like, 
Hmm. Hey, homeschooling was really life around here, right. man. It's, <laughs> clearly it's still life. is. Yeah. Right. It's but. still life. So just comes out of surgery and all she thinks about is curriculum. That's right. great. So um I think there was a little bit of deception. Maybe he didn't realize how fucked up it was in there, but to be I, fair, he, he didn't know what I'm was kidding. inside of what I, I was saying. That. I'm yeah. kidding. Was the other one okay? It was encapsulated too, but it wasn't, wasn't nearly as bad not as to that no, level though. Not right, to that level. Yeah. Um and when I woke up and I got home and the pain medicine that they gave you wore off, you couldn't give me enough oxy to take away the pain. I was, I was actually taken back. And I really? have a pretty fucking high tolerance for pain. And it was like literally having C-sections on your titties. <laughs> it was that bad. Shout out to all my C-section mamas. But yeah, no. And so... Today was the first day that I was able to shower myself and really, I was going to get to you. Oh, no, I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> I've enjoyed playing doctor, etc. cetera. Uh, Could have oh, yeah. done better oh, with- Mr. Truefall, I got some questions He for did you, enjoy like, so. it. The first day I was like, he, you know, he gets into the shower to help me and I'm like, do you really have to go there right now? <laughs> Can you really calm Why down? Why not, though? Like I said, when we go back to the early shows of Can being just, thirsty, et cetera, that's, Can, you know, I know she's down. I know she's down. That's what I'm not. You're over there in your head like, babe got them new things. <laughs> nope. Cause just, what I, just what I'll need. Just, yeah. just the sheer fact that he was giving me a shower, I think, was just enough uh, for... Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I love... Yes, I, I it love was. How much your husband loves you. So do I. I think it's dope. So do I. Because he took such good care of me. There were a few times when he shorted me some medication. <laughs> and I'm like, Marcus. And he I'm did. not used to waking up at all hours right. of the night. It was like having a baby. Yeah. He had to give me oh, antibiotics. So was, so was it like every, every couple, six hours? Yeah. Six hours so, you yeah. Had to get up. Oh, yeah, I had shit. to have antibiotics. Slept through a couple of alarms. And I'm like, I'm supposed to have it at 6.30. I wake, Marcus wakes me up and I'm like, oh, what time is it? He's like, uh, <clears throat> it's 7.30. I'm like. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> shorted me like three pills. One he had dropped in the bed. One was, I don't know where the other two went, honestly. <laughs> But I felt bad too, but he took, I couldn't get mad either because she she's saying it nice now, like oh, kind of. I was coming off medicine. I was I know, in pain. I, I was know, like, so I, I wasn't very nice about it. Was I gave you crying? You, I did cry on Friday. I gave her that space and opportunity to to yeah. vent and let me know exactly how you felt about me. Put back a to you. Short on. He was. Very attentive. Thanks, he Mama. still is. He won't let me drive, which I think I'm good to drive, but he won't let me drive. No. He was just consistently making sure I was okay. And you know, you have to sleep at a 45 degree angle and wear socks. So there's, you know, you don't get blood clots and you have to, you know, do all that. Kind of, he did it all. He was rubbing the cream on my boot. <laughs> wicked, 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 wicked. <laughs> Right. No, nah, but I... I'm, he was pulling down my pants, and he even had to wipe. That's a good man, though. I mean, that's... Hey, man. I couldn't do what, it. What, what do you say in your vows? Do that's what I'm saying. Do health? Right. You know what I'm All saying? That. You don't hold it down. Right. Absolutely. All that. So it doesn't matter. Anything I had to do, I was there to do it, and um, I mean, I'm still there. And oh, and I had drains coming yeah. out of my titties when I woke up. Didn't expect that. Like, he had to change, empty out the blood and extra stuff, like, every few hours, and... I think the drains were the worst part because if you turned, it would like bite you and you're like, and so it was pretty Kind of like a catheter for right. boobs. Right. I know. Ugh. So when I go in, Yikes. I go in for my first post-op a couple of days later and, you know, she has to undo my bra and I'm sitting there and she's, I thought I was going to throw up and she's like, are you going to pass out? She's like, just breathe. Are you going to pass out? She was like, let me know. If you stand up, let me know which way. <laughs> so I can kind of. <laughs> so she can that, catch you. Right. And that's right. how it was just. Walking was hard. Breathing was everything hurt. So when, by, you, stood, when you stood up, would you get lightheaded? <gasps> These got lightheaded. I would have to. He'd have to help me up. 
every single time he had to help me up and everything would rush to the bottom, all the mm-hmm. pain. And I was just like, because she was sleeping elevated. Right. Feet right. Up. So, yeah. So, um, I tried to get it to slow down. It's not the easiest thing to do. For oh, me. I was slowed down. Well, I had no choice I, I remember, but to slow yeah, I remember down. talking to you like before and you were like, oh yeah, I'm going on Friday, but I, I <laughs> forgot. I got my daughter's thing. I got to go to on Sunday. And I'm like, you're not going to get out of bed. I went. I don't know how. Why? Why did you stay did I, home? I did. Two days after surgery, I went to my daughter's dance competition, which she won first place. She did. Hey, Shout out right. to Kenny Ken. Shout out to yeah, Kennedy. Yeah, yeah. Kenny so I'm Ken. glad I was there. But my mom came. My mom changed her. Um, is Kennedy the sore loser? No. That's no. Cassidy. That's Cassidy. Cassidy. Yeah, Cassidy's Cassidy. the sore loser. Still right up there, probably losing very sorely. Somebody left their food and stuff on the table, too. I'm kind of pissed about it all the lights have, is off everything's clean but all the food's on the table. oh i'll eat it um but <laughs> some i told somebody i had surgery and she was like you are moving like yeah like why are you walking like, dead yeah, right, like, yeah. why are you here i had to i had to help her she would not let my mom take her she wanted oh. me to be there so who okay. am I to say okay. I cannot be there? Were the kids aware of everything that's going on that mom has gone through six hour surgery and mom isn't going to probably be able to move that well that much um, because mom has six hour surgery. Cash ran and lunged at me several times and Marcus is like, oh, oh, get, get away from your mom. So wait, was there no, mom. Did you not explain this to them? Well, he's telling everybody I'm sick and I'm like, I'm not sick. Well, the younger ones can't really understand of course the process so your mom's sick <laughs> she's not feeling well or, so don't or you, you know your mom had a procedure they, they don't know what procedure she had means. surgery or whatever i could have said that but i was just like but would they be too like on what and start like digging not like that i don't mind I about don't think that Cassius yeah, would have yeah. understood cassidy would have but he kept coming to lunge and at me and a couple of times cassidy like when i was up she hugged me a few times and i'm like Dude, I'm gonna cry, right. please. I had to catch him like in midair sometime, like when they're trying yeah, to. Yeah, he would so catch like, him midair, like get away from your mom. <laughs> hey, but you try to explain the older girls. I could explain and get them to help and do different stuff right. like that. But I mean, it's such different levels with the kids. But they, it actually was time, but it wasn't time because your surgery was supposed to be pushed out a little bit, and I felt like. Before we know it, it was on, it was on. So we had to mm-hmm. plan, I had to do stuff to get it done. And then right. the kids will be back. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take mom to surgery and then it's going right. to be back. And then so. the kids are, my mom took them the first, the two little, I yeah. don't remember. I took the two littles within the first night that mm-hmm. Jess was home. So I didn't have to worry about them and I could just play doctor. I mean, and do my thing and right. make sure I stayed up on the pills, make sure. I, because it was, I mean, it's a pretty, you know standard things the antibiotics and all the stuff that could get serious if you don't right. take the stuff and then with the pain meds if you fall short on that um i did once but or twice but you want to stay up on that because that's uncomfortable right. and, and i don't like to take pain medications so i'm like i'm gonna be on and i kept saying take your meds take your meds yeah. i don't want to take it but i can't move um but you know by friday just this past friday well, on Thursday night, because your bra can dig into your incision. I don't know what, you know, it just, it's just, I don't even think it's digging into your incision, but they're just so sensitive when you have a lift. Is it true that, and this is kind of side note, but I had read something years ago about how bras are actually not healthy or not good for women. Well, is that a truth we're not to that? supposed to be wearing bras, right? Certain types, probably, I would. But assume. underwire bras. Is it underwire bras underwire that aren't bras. good? Okay. And you can absolutely not do that with these. Right. These have to be fully healed. So I decided on Thursday <clears throat> night to unbutton the bottom of my bra mm-hmm. and sleep without, because they give you, you know, a bra to wear. And I decided I'm in pain. I'm going to undo it. Pain was worse? Friday morning. <laughs> I don't think this is ever going to go up. So I, ha- I had a moment. Yeah. And then I left for Sincadia for the weekend. Sincadia is always nice. Right. <laughs> Sincadia is always nice. Right. Surgery to crying, and then I'm going to take <laughs> off to Sincadia. Surgery to dance to crying to yeah. Sincadia. But then on Sunday, I kind of just had a breakthrough. 
and mm-hmm. I am used. It doesn't hurt as much. Mm-hmm. I'm used to it. They appear to have dropped a bit, mm-hmm. um, and they're kind of trying to settle in a little bit. And uh, yeah. just as an instant gratification type of uh, personality. <laughs> so the doctor's been saying weeks to months or whatever you need to do that you have to just wait on that. So Jess is okay. You know, no, Jess, I'm you basing it off of my last, my first surgery. And I'm basing it off of, I didn't even have to take that much pain medication until my fifth C-section. Right. Well, right? he's so I was said, taken back. But, just like but, Jess said that the doctor said this was one of the worst cases right. he's seen on the, uh, capsular right. side. Of things, so just take your time. I'm gonna take. So your I mean, time. I mean, yeah, it's gonna be worse because it's encapsulated. It's obviously like there's like it's like infected. There's like infection. There. Right. So I yeah, think he had it, to dig out my soul. Yeah. To get so that so yeah, it's, gonna, it's out. definitely gonna hurt a million times worse. For invasive. Sure. Yeah, to be in there. It was yeah. invasive. It yeah, was for sure. Um, but I feel better. And funny thing, I showed my three oldest daughters because the breast lift, ladies. Oh, did you show them the scars? And my oldest was like, I will never do that. And I said, <laughs> if your titties are sagging to your knees, you'll consider it. Mine weren't, but anyways, so I'm doing much better. I would not be down here if I was in the pain that I was in even a couple of days ago. Oh, no, we'd make you. <laughs> we'd roll you down. We'd roll you down. Little, little crown, chair. little tequila. Little crown. Right, little, little, <laughs> carry you down the stairs. You'd be all right. Numb it, numb it. But I Lair think that's on what, the pool right. table. No, I think that's what helped this weekend. We were at a friend's birthday party, and I walked, and I got to move around. Some yeah. it had crown, which made me move even more. And I think mm-hmm. that really helped, even though I was miserable some of the time. On Sunday, I was like, "Well, wait a minute." I got outside, got some fresh air. My got boobs in the aren't going to fucking so. bottom out and drop from underneath. Like, I'm good. So, yeah. Here I am. Yeah. So, anyways. Yes. Sadly, I'm still having nerve issues. And um, the doctor told me to give it time because what they did <sighs> was pretty, keep saying, intense and invasive. And that... I'm still very swollen and that it's very angry right now. And you so, dealt with it for a long time too. So Right. And you he know, said, and so everything is firing. Seven, eight, like nine years crazy. of right. being in that state so, would be tough. Um how how is it for you, Marcus? Like, um just you know, you see you seeing your you know, your wife go through that and have that pain and then at the same time, like, you know, she's crying. She, I didn't do it all the time. She, it was and it was more out of frustration well, than anything. She, but she's she's frustrated. I ain't no okay. wimp. <laughs> she's a soldier. Okay, I'm, 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 I know. <laughs> I'm a soldier. Be careful. <laughs> you Tread have lightly. listen. You no. you've carried five children. Trust me. Like you, you don't need to prove. We 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 know. We get it. But what I want to know is, was your patience at any point tested? Yes. Um. Every day. Yeah. Really. One hundred percent. Yeah. But you know what um, she's going through. So I was so what I tried to do was put myself in her shoes. If I would have been, you know, gone through a procedure and I couldn't even move, I couldn't help myself. I needed somebody else to do the basic stuff for me. That's already frustrating enough to to be in that position. So I was like, okay, I need to be on my job. I need to do this. I need to clear my schedule. I mean, I got to get away from myself. Mm -hmm. and look to help my wife first. So that's where I was at mentally. But there was times it's like, okay. um, The first few (laughs) days I was. I need this. I I need that. And. Oh, yeah. He felt like I was barking orders. And I'm like, no, dude, it's time for my medicine. And I was like, okay, say please. Or or I'm not doing. Please, pretty much. (laughs) He but, was like, kind of like, I don't like your tone. Yeah, I'm right, like, but, dude, but, I'm wait, just wait, wait. asking. I'm In just all asking fairness. you to help me get up. I have to potty, please. <laughs> Grab this. Get that. But because it was a lot, because I know, normally right, right. I can turn and grab but, my phone, and that's, I couldn't. Yeah. And like I couldn't said, do anything to put myself in her shoes. Sometimes I had to be like. Okay, I'm tripping. I need to understand where she's at and what she's doing. I know if you were 
uh, not in your right mind, but if you could do what you wanted to do, things would be a little bit. You know what the problem different. is, Kel? Mm -hmm. Is he is he is mm -hmm. a perfection. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. like. He's a perfectionist. Don't no, I don't do even it. think he's a perfectionist, don't you, don't but I think you? people hold him in such Ooh, high regard. I hate what she says. Oh, that. yeah. Oh, Marcus, Marcus Trufon, you're the bet. You're the man. You're no, the man. So he's used true. to getting pumped up. So when I tear him down, <laughs> <laughs> even a little, he does not like criticism. What it is he is. Can, and, and it's kind of funny because he's football. That's all you get. But he, well, that's not all you get. I'm sorry. You get shit on as a athlete on a daily basis so i but there's something about criticism outside of your football that no. he does not criticism like he does not like being wrong he does not like being told <laughs> you missed my pills yeah you i took that one up. Uh, i took that one that's that capricorn yeah yeah i took that <laughs> like he but he's he gets down and gets all in his fucking feelings if i'm I'm grinding. I'm going as hard as I can. I'm I'm just going, and then to have someone say so you skip my medication, not so eloquently let me know that you know I may be falling a little short. I wasn't even that bad though. Sometimes it's like oh, like I even had to go. Jess, did you really? Did you say something? I think it was just too many you fucked ups in the nicest way. So. Knowing she was going into surgery, you're Mister Over Prepared. Overachiever. Did you did you, did you like prep around the house or maybe prep the bedroom from when you know, you know that what? she was going to come home and have some just stuff set up? I fell short on that too. Oh, true. I feel like no, I don't. I don't think neither one of us. No, knew. I know. Yeah, yeah. Things happen fast and they change in a hurry. So, so I you wasn't guys didn't know the severity of it. No, I would and think the doctor, in like. all honesty, was saying it wasn't going to be as bad as it was. And I don't think he knew until he got in there and was like, oh, right, this is a bad case. And then afterwards, it was just different. It was like, okay, boom. But I didn't even like, I didn't have no crackers or nothing like at the house when you're supposed to eat and stuff. They, they gave us some snacks and stuff and that's all we had. And I couldn't leave. And so I was... Oh, man, you didn't have the unsaltines. But ready? I had to... <laughs> no, I got those like they... Three, I made her run to the store I to go get know. the saltine. Those so, were hella, hella drying, but, but hella she good. was kind of drugged up, so she really didn't know that. <laughs> but it's tough, though. But you love somebody and you see them in pain and you want them to be right. So you deal. Not that I was dealing with stuff. That's that's well, not well. And in true Capricorn, yeah, I wanted to be perfect. He I wanted, want, yeah. and he said, "This is this is a job." It he is. Said, I, it this is. is like I'm a doctor. This is serious shit right here. Yeah. So I so, need so, to do everything. And so when he did it, it was like a letdown. Oh, it's him. Don't you tell it's me I messed me. up. Don't you do that. Right. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. Ah! <laughs> but but no no. <laughs> I had to change my mindset from you know bathing to oh this is um, sexy and wow. <laughs> To, okay, I need to make sure that I'm I'm being gentle. I'm doing the right stuff. Make sure I'm hitting the scar. So I I had to change right. my whole. Oh, was you changing dressing and stuff? Too? All that. Yeah. All he, that. He was doing, he was all, doing that. all that. For all me. that. And were you like and like bathing? Were you like like sponge bath in the bathtub sponge just on her back? back? Like it's okay, babe. And oh my. God. <laughs> It got to the point where I felt like I could, go, you know, go to the bathroom on my own. And here, this guy is coming in right after me. Like, can I pull down your pants? <laughs> Do you need any, any assistance? Oh, he still probably like to do that. When he, when he said like that, <laughs> can I pull down your pants? Pretty much, he would just come right in after me, and I'm like, I didn't want any setbacks though, because that's the the last thing you want. You right. Reach too far and right. you tear a stitch or you do something. I'm, I'm sorry, that's really funny. Because I can just picture you just like, hey, 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 hey. hey, hey. No, wait, that's wait, how wait. he was because he would I help me it. up and then he would turn around and I would go in and try and do it myself. And then here he is. Hey, whoa, whoa. Standing in there. I got this. Right, just I like that. This. Let me peel him. Yeah, pretty. <laughs> And, they, they and you know I'm not that flexible because I got my own stuff, so I like had to go all the way down He's to his knees. He's down knee. on his knees. It <laughs> was just that's a, good, yeah. that's a good man down on bending knees. I, I couldn't do this a few days ago, but 
I know. This That's, is my guy. I just said I'm clocking out now. I think you. <laughs> she got right it. on the cuff. I did it today. Right, he didn't even yeah. know he was gone, and I yeah. got up and showered and got dressed. So I assume like you can't put your hand like up, arms up above your head, right? Not quite. Don't do yeah. it. Don't though. do it. What? You're gonna tear a stitch or something. Oh no, there's this. You can't tear this. But uh, yeah, so that was my journey, and hopefully the nerve, or whatever this is, as the swelling and everything goes down. It calms down too. Well, um, yeah, that was that was an intense. Story. That was, deep, that was a very intense yeah. story. I I hope you feel better. I am hoping you're feeling better. I am, which is good. Uh, shout out to my guy though for holding it down. Much though. appreciated. I mean, yeah, much you're the real MVP. You, yeah, per I mean, usual. <laughs> nah, but Jess is a soldier. She um, powers through just about it. Any and everything, so I'm not surprised. But I couldn't this time. Like, I literally couldn't. I wanted to so bad, but I couldn't. At some point... My body was like, no She bitch. did, though. To a certain point, she just kept going and didn't stop. I never felt like she was uh, not trying her hardest and doing her best. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, she don't like to follow orders from me or the doctor at times, but that's just the way of the world. And when you got a strong woman that likes to... To do her thing and push oh, right. forward. You think so. that's bad? Just wait till y'all get old, old, and she started getting in her 70s and 80s. What do you know about that? Shoot, I watched my grandparents. <laughs> and when yeah. and, and, I did too. Yeah, yeah and they, when they, they, the doctor starts telling you there's certain things you can't do, I remember when I told my grandpa he couldn't drive anymore, and he goes, they're taking my freedom <laughs> from me. Oh, well, that's different. I will be... <laughs> You could be the old lady just yeah until I run somebody over. <laughs> and then I'll run have to I know my grandma stopped driving on the freeway and only drove on the back roads. So it took her to get everywhere. Well, hell that's a while. hell of a journey. Yep, I remember <laughs> uh -huh. that. Yeah. Well, this was a great episode. Um, very intriguing. Yeah. I learned about uh, breast encapsulation. Yeah. Capsular, Capsular, Capsular contraction. I know you're like the expert right? now. Capsular, Capsular contraction. contraction. And yeah. it sounds terrifying. Mm. Um, ladies, if you got breast implants and they're about to hit that 10 year mark, go get that checked. Go get them checked out go because checked I waited out. too long. Yeah. Go get that checked out. I did. Um, and it's totally different from 10 years ago. This guy, oh, the, the doctor, he 10 years ago, he totally popped different. my titties in and just sent me on my way. And this, it's serious. You have to take pills that are preventative capsular contracture. I'm doing ultrasonic massages that break up the scar tissue and keep everything moving and, like, all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, what? All, all right. right, cool. All right, well, uh, I forgot what number of episodes we're on, but it was a great 17, episode. Right. Is it 17, Did 16? I lie? Did 16, I lie? 17, 17. 17. whatever. Ooh, we don't know. Lie. Another good one in the book. Another good so. one in the book, right. though. Uh, truly Unruly, Marcus Trufant, uh, the lovely Jessica Trufant, Dylan's behind the camera. Uh, remember, uh, follow us on Instagram, <laughs> truly unruly Man. underscore podcast. Follow Marcus. How is, is it just Marcus? Marcus underscore Trufant on yeah. Instagram. Fab Five Isn't Mom. Mm hmm. I'm at Radio Kells. Remember, watch us every Sunday on uh, Converge, uh, Converge Media, Omari and them. Oh, by the way, Omari and them, they're about to celebrate their one-year anniversary. Oh, wow. Shout out to Very them. Congratulations. Cool. Yeah. Congratulations. Happy anniversary. Uh, you can watch us on YouTube, on YouTube on uh, Marcus's YouTube channel that is, that is named Marcus, Marcus Trufant. Any more Marcus? Any more Marcus? <laughs> Uh, no, I think that's it, guys. Is I think it? we're good, yeah. I think we're good. It's truly on oh, really. Yeah. Uh, listen to us on uh, Podcast One and Apple Podcasts. Mm. Probably should tell them that, too. Yeah. I'm glad you know this stuff. Yes. We out. <laughs> <laughs>